Hello and welcome back to Lord Fan Anime Plays, Neverwinter Nights Hands Edition Wife and Crown Crown Mirror. I'm your host, Lord Fan. In this Neverwinter Nights Hands Edition Wife and Crown Crown Mirror Part 12 video, we're at Poltur's Fort still. This time we're going from level one down to the basement. Plus, we're completing a quest too. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so be updated and much more. Let's go ahead and start exploring this entire fortress some more. Let's uh, go ahead, wait a second. Oh my goodness. Now everybody, if you look very closely, especially on the PC version, there's some potions. Plus there's some liquor, like for example, ale and spirits. If you want to get drunk, go ahead, up to you. And there's uh, no harm, no foul. Well, you just get a deep buff, but still, it's up to you on that. I'm going to go ahead and grab all these nice and free potions. I have some money if I wanted to buy some, but... Yeah, I'm saving it like crazy for this uh, module until I get a few more of those uh, caster rob robes and such. In other words, if I get a whole bunch of high value caster items, oh yeah, I'll be rolling in the dough. Let's see here for a second. Now, good news is my entire party all have a uh, weapon focus longsword. Bad news is the module made the, uh, I'm going to say all the party members I have so far with weapon focus you guessed it, longsword instead of diversify. That's the only thing I got to really complain about. Let me go ahead and grab that rope. That might be a uh, hint saying, yeah, you're going to need a rope. So first uh, place we're going to, I'm calling it the Royal Bedroom or AKA the Master Bedroom on floor one. I'm going to go ahead and finish up exploring level one before getting to the basement. I'm not doing uh, the top level until I get the uh, basement done and also the uh, higher up undead basement, I call it. So let's go ahead and uh, storm this uh, room. All right, I uh, definitely did it. And my rogues, she's already getting to work. My rogue slash ranger, I should say. And unfortunately, loot sucks, but oh well. I will admit though, I had fun uh, killing this whole room, just clearing it all out. Let's see for a second. Oh wow, the shaman. Ooh, there's some nice loot. Yeah, I better start getting more uh, bags of holding. Yeah, you see, I'm trying to get much bags and holding as I can, so this is why I don't have to make multiple uh, trips back to town. Unless I feel like I need to turn in some quests. Still, let's see here. Let's go ahead and just do some organization. Yeah, I've been doing this since the last video, so that's why I'm on a uh, killing spree. Oh, wow, I have some nice items. Uh, magic staff. Yeah, I'll pass on that. I'll use staffs. Robes are nice. I'll tell everybody what that is uh, once I do identify them. Core staff plus one. All oh, right, a magical weapon I don't need. I get to sell. That's a lot of money. Let me go ahead and identify some of these. Might as well use up some of these lore potions. I'm going to pause the game. It's cheap, but still it freezes time. Okay, cold resistance and ice daggers. Now, if you're a caster, yeah, that is uh, all right. Now, I found some better robes. And I think it was in uh, one of the last videos or two. I think it was uh, two of them before. You had to uh, face the uh, damsel in distress. Yeah, she wasn't a damsel in distress, but she did have herself a nice arcane uh, robe. So if you're arcane uh, spellcaster, you'll love it. Ooh, breastplate plus uh, two. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I'm going to try to upgrade Edgar with some good armor. Now, uh, bad news is he has a weight issue due to the fact that you guessed it. Yeah, his strength is not there at all. I think he's more like the uh, Smite Paladin. I noticed him smiting a lot lately. Which is a good thing, though. Let's see here. Breastplate. Let's go ahead and get my uh, paladin there. Okay, let's go ahead and look at that. Yeah, see, that's 4 plus 1. That one's 5 plus 2. Obviously, our uh, paladin here is going to get himself a nice piece of armor. Now, he's going to move slowly, so I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, do a good old change of rules. Let's see if I can do it here. Put it there. All right. Yes, I uh, did it. So, I can't identify that. Nope. 
Still, I will eventually uh, have a bag for Edgar, or I'll put all of his stuff in one bag. Depending on what. Barbarian Cloak, that is actually good. Minus one intelligence, but plus one strength. And you have a nice buff to go along with that. Up to you all on that. Let's see here. Nothing else, but still. I got some nice uh, sellable uh, loot. That wand is good. I cannot use, unfortunately. I'll have used Magical Device. I'm not going to get it. Now, uh, this one, I think it's a necklace of uh, Call Lightning. So if you really want to uh, go ahead and use that, that is fine. Otherwise, yeah, I say it's just just uh, either sell it or if you're dire need of nuking something, then do that. I decide to do the uh, prayer uh, necklace because, you see, it gives me spell resistance. And with that ring, I think it stacks. Yeah, see, I'm a uh, tier. Now, if I was like uh, Tempus or I should, no, Tempus or anybody else or any other DD, I should say. Yeah, I get those uh, buffs. Yeah, you see, DD plays an important role in this module. So you better know your Forgotten Realm one. I, ones I should say and then uh this way you get the prayer beat and that's it so we're gonna go into the next room and go ahead and clear it out Taste of my rock. Let's uh, go ahead and loot everything up. Okay, that's all right. Let's see if I'm going for two for two. Nope, not in shamans, but that's okay. Let's grab a foot locker. And inside this nice foot locker is just gold. Not worth anything, but still, that's all right. Target has no items or gold. Our uh, rogue, she didn't disarm any of our foes. I would've got some free stuff. Bolt of cloth. Yeah, I still have to figure out how to craft in this game. One day I will uh, definitely try to figure it out, but for now, there's going to be another bunk bedroom. We're going to go ahead and clear that out. I shall return after everything is dead. Oh wow, would you look at that. This arm just kicked in. I want to thank our rogue slash ranger, Catherine. She is nice. She's good. I'd like to keep her in my party forever. I will have to start talking to her more often so uh, this way we could continue her story. I think there is a uh, quest I heard with her only. I am hoping there's a romance entrance. If so, I am definitely going to go ahead and try to romance her. Uh, the keyword is try. Let's see. Nothing else. Okay. Just a generic ring. Let's check this room out. Uh, this is a generic one. That's all right. Okay. That's ale. We'll uh, go ahead and just uh, not uh, pick that up. That's worthless. Oh, I missed uh, something. And 10 pieces of gold. But still, gold is gold. You're going to need to pick up as much as possible. Yeah, you see this module? I'm going to repeat it again. Yeah, gold is not that easy to uh, get. Unless you get lucky on robes or something that you're not going to use. You can sell for a whole bunch of gold. Now, this next area, there are two bathrooms. Yeah, you guessed it. Two bathrooms, I think it is. We're going to go ahead and clear both of them out. My rock. Evil shall never triumph. I think that was a bathroom both of them I'm just guessing at this point it might be something else but I'm calling it a uh, bathroom now uh, this next room be careful there's a treasure chest that is trapped I accidentally sprung it because I was so excited just clearing level one basically yeah uh, the damage I did uh, did a reflex save I got very lucky now in the uh, future if you're uh, decide to play along with me and you get to this room 
Once you get in, just stop. Then uh, let your uh, rogue slash ranger, if you have her in your party, to go ahead and disarm. Now, if yourself is a uh, rogue or any shape or form, then go ahead and search and disarm. Or better yet, search and uh, recover. Yeah, you see, recovering traps in Neverwinter Nights 1 is extremely OP. Use the traps at the right moment, and you get to kill some many foes. Now we're going to go ahead and go uh, down, not up. Oh, sorry about that. It zooms in. Now, next level, it's uh, mostly undead, so bear be ready for anything that's anti-undead. Like, for example, turn undead, so let's go on in. The undead are very sensitive here. After you uh, kill a few, they come on down. You have to go ahead and kill some, chase some too, turn undead if you decide to uh, pop that, and they run away. Same thing too. Oh, don't worry, I'll pick up that longbow sooner or later. So our next area is the jailer room. You uh, definitely want the jailer keys. Yeah, that's correct. You see, uh, there's someone you want to talk to. They give you a nice big old hint. Let's go ahead and get this hobgoblin shaman. Yeah, rats, I got screwed again, but oh well. Let's go ahead and uh, kill the jailer. That was very fun. We got ourselves two set of keys. Yeah, grab them both. Okay, a pot looks like uh, someone's cooking up prisoners and ate them all. And that's nothing there. And let's go ahead and open this one up. There, we just... Uh, Open the door. Now we're going to go down the hall. Now, in this uh, hallway, you need to talk to someone. That's very important. You can get a very nice hint of what foes you have to face to come. So let's go ahead and do that. If you have guessed it, vampires. So you better be ready for them at all times. If I think I remember right, that you're plus two or plus three enchantment. Now, if you have something like divine or anything else to help you out, that'll be great. If you're a cleric and your turn undead is really up there, or if you're a pure cleric at this point, yeah, you might have a little to no issue at all. It definitely against them. Now we're going to go ahead and just uh, keep on uh, going. The next area we're actually going to is the Poltergeist area. You see, we're going to go ahead and complete the uh, Poltergeist in the fort. And the reason why we want to do that is, uh, number one, there's a question you want to definitely uh, turn into the Tempest Priest. And another reason you'll definitely see down the line. So let's go ahead and fight. You should. <laughs>
Well, here's the other good news. You get yourself another broken blade weapon or a broken weapon. Now, we have a total of three because we uh, basically cured the uh, weapon or actually the spirit. It's free to go on. Wonderful news is now we get to uh, turn in the portraits of this uh, fortress quest back to Priest of Tempus. I'm going to be doing that in the uh, video, but for now I'm just uh, organizing all the weapon shards, putting it in the last page. I believe I heard heard uh, you might need uh, craft weapons if you want to do extra improvements me myself I'm not gonna do that besides I have so many other good skills that's better than that and that's just a one-time deal yeah I think you might get hopefully plus two plus three I'm kind of hoping plus three maybe plus four if I get all f uh, four or five pieces looks like that is a uh, very good to go now uh, this uh, next area I'm about to go to after I uh, turn the quest in in town it's vampires, I think skeletal intellectual uh, devourers. Yeah, they're like the ones you uh, face, if I remember correctly, Shadows of Iron Time and Hordes of the Underdark. Oh yeah, Shadows of Under Time because the uh, last area is a whole bunch of them. And let's see what else my notes say. A whole bunch of skeletons, skeleton warriors, maybe some skeleton priest. And there's a certain undead I could cast uh, death magic if you're not careful. You fail that save, that's like a reload of your save. In other words, instant death. We're not going to face that one in this video, but still, I'll uh, start clearing that room out. Now, this is a way to get to the uh, tougher undead. Just go this way, see where the uh, longbow plus one is at. That might be something else, but still, if you're in this area, that means you're really close on by. So, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, bag that up. Let me uh, make sure if I could do it. And there, let's grab it. After that, I'm going to go ahead and go off screen and go into town. And then I'll uh, be back to turn in that uh, quest. I greet you. I greet you. The poltergeist of the fort is now complete. Now, also, what I did was is uh, use the Priest of Tempest to bless my character's father's grave, so no more vandalization. Otherwise, you vandalize my character's father's grave, the Wrath of Tempest will be upon you. Which, to me, that's very good. Let's go ahead and sell. Well, we're not going to sell that. We're going to sell some items, too. I will identify a few if I can. If not, I'll, I'll do it off screen. Still, I am glad I got that quest done and I got that extra uh, bonus task done with the 
character's father's grave. Yeah, I want to make sure that it's protected in case some uh, jerk decides to once again try to vandalize it. Now they can't. Now these uh, boots will give you plus two constitution and plus one on regeneration. Copper talisman's all right, but use it as a hand-me-down on one of your uh, henchmen. I'm going to give it to Edgar. He needs some uh, goods lately. Let's uh, go ahead and get rid of some of these uh, extra loot too. I don't need it. Yeah, eventually I'll have more strength. I'll be able to carry more, but still for now, I'm going to get rid of anything. Also, uh, here's the deal. If you're really scared about level drain, get yourself uh, some uh, restoration scrolls. However, it's going to cost a lot. If you're seriously, seriously scared, then before going down that level I showed you, the door, well, just make a save there. Clear the area. If you don't have a level drain on all three characters, including yourself, you're perfectly fine. Otherwise, yeah, you might have to tough it out. There's greater restoration too. That's like a full heal spell. And it gets rid of level drain. Now, uh, Lesser, for those of you who are new to Neverwinter Nights 1, all that does is heals your stats, AC, and some other things. It's better to use restoration and greater restoration, of course, obviously, to uh, get rid of much of the worst stuff. So what I uh, did was I went off screen, cure Catherine with restoration uh, scroll, good thing, and I got some more loot. And some decent amount of gold, plus another bag of holding. First, Edgar got himself a nice home. I will give him a better one. Second, he got a lesser magic bag, which is all right. I think I'm going to go ahead and take that away from him because I think that's still too heavy. Yeah, if your uh, henchman is uh, being weighed down, what happens is they move real slow. We're going to need Edgar big time because he's a paladin, a full-blown paladin. You're going to need it for this level down. Let me I'll go ahead and get this cloak. I say I keep this barbarian cloak, blood frenzy, and the plus one strength. Minus one intellect, that's all right. I got myself a plus two strength uh, belt, so I have 20 strength in all. Let's go on down. Now, we're going to start with skeletons, vampires, those annoying little uh, SOBs from Shadows of Undead Time. You all know what it is if you've seen it. If not, yeah, they have a nice aurora. If you uh, don't make a will save, you got to run away from them. That's not good. Let's uh, go ahead and just uh, take all of his stuff. Yeah, Edgar, I'm just going to take all this for now. Eventually down the line, I'll give you a nice uh, bag of holding or something like that. If I have the gold. There, everybody's set. No one's going to move slow. That is great and wonderful news. We're going to go ahead and storm this room. Once I clear everything, I do mean absolutely clear everything, then I shall be back for now. Let's go kill some undead.
that is a well-earned victory and i did gain a level oh wow skeletal devourer that's 1k plus worth of experience points now we're not gonna do the rest of this uh level and i'm not gonna go ahead and uh, move to that area yet i uh, might do that in the next video after i clear the area or maybe at the uh, start so we're gonna go ahead and go back to the previous level the rest and level up after uh all this then it is definitely time for a recap As I did mention earlier in the video, if not, I'll mention it again. You rest here, you might get some undead you have to fight, so be careful. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get rid of all the badness, get everybody rested up. Once everybody's completely healed and set up, then it is time to go ahead and level. Let's see here. We cannot be a purple dragon knight no more because level 5 is the absolute cap. You see, it's only 5 levels, and then you have to sell for the other 2 classes. We're going to do weapon master instead. I have the link in the description for the build, so that's going to be Discipline, Rest in the Heal, and we all have to uh, probably, well, we can't cross class at all on the other two skills. We're going to do a Weapon of Choice, and that weapon, of course, is my Long Sword, plus the uh, ability that you can have to do a maximum damage on one hit, which is nice too. Here's a recap for this video. I explored the rest of level one, got some okay loot. After that, went down to the basement. Kill many undead. Found out we're about to face vampires. Then, uh, of course, with the sword, we uh, face off against it. Free the spirit from the sword. Turn the uh, quest to Priest of Tempus, which is very good. And by the way, that sword became a shard that is number three already. Then we went down, faced some tougher undead. Kill a vampire. Those annoying little things that love to use a fear roar and had a good time doing so. And one more thing. We did level up, too. Well, everyone, this is it for my Never Went Tonight's Hands Edition by Crown Crown Mirror Part 12, Poulter's Fort Part 2. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Never Winter Nights or Never Winter Nights Hands Edition builds, walkthroughs, guides, and more videos just like this. If you love what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do roll a 20. Thank you.